loud to God who is near. Today is the day, another proper hour to forsake our sinful lives and turn to the High as the sky is above the earth, so high above our ways, the ways of the Lord. Seek the Lord, whose mercy abounds. Call aloud. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace and peace of the Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. My name is Father Paul Sile. I'm happy to be uh, with you for this Mass as we uh, come together this day to celebrate the presence of the Lord in our midst. I'm a campus minister at University of Buffalo Newman Center at the North Campus, and also the chaplain for the Buffalo Fire Department. As we come together as God's people, we know that the love and mercy of God overcomes any sins that we may have committed. And so we take a moment to ask for pardon and peace in our lives. You came to call sinners to yourself. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. In word and sacrament, you strengthen us in holiness. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. We look for your coming again in glory. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us of our sins, and bring us all to life everlasting. Amen. Glory to God, glory to God, glory to God in the highest and on earth, peace on earth, peace to people of good will. Glory to God, glory to God, glory to God in the highest, and on earth, peace on earth, peace to people of good will. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you. Glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory, Lord God, heavenly King, O oh God, Almighty Father. Glory to God, glory to God, glory to God in the highest and on earth, peace on earth. Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand, the right hand of the Father. Mercy on us. Glory to God, glory to God, glory to God in the highest and on earth. Peace on earth, peace to people of good will. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the the Holy Spirit in 
the glory of God the Father. Glory to God, glory to God, glory to God in the highest and on earth, peace on earth, peace to people of goodwill. Amen, amen. Let us pray. O oh God, you founded all the commands on your sacred law upon the love of you and of our neighbor. Grant that by keeping your laws, we may come to attain eternal life through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. Seek the Lord while he may be found. Call him while he is near. Let the scoundrel forsake his way and the wicked his thoughts. Let him turn to the Lord for mercy, to our God who is generous in forgiving. For my thoughts are not your thoughts, nor are your ways my ways, says the Lord. As high as the heavens are above the earth, so high are my ways above your ways, and my thoughts above your thoughts. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. near to all who call upon him. The Lord is near to all who call upon him. Every day will I bless you and I will praise your name forever and ever. Great is the Lord and highly to be praised His greatness is unsearchable The Lord is near to all who call upon Him The Lord is gracious and merciful Slow to anger and of great kindness The Lord is good to all and compassionate toward all his works. The Lord is near to all who call upon him. The Lord is just in all his ways and holy in all his works. The Lord is near to all who call upon him to all who call upon him in truth. The Lord is near to all who call upon him. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Philippians. Brothers and sisters, Christ will be magnified in my body, whether by life or by death. For to me, life is Christ, and death is gain. If I go on living in the flesh, that means fruitful labor for me. And I do not know which I shall choose. I am caught between the two. I long to depart this life and be with Christ, for that is far better. Yet that I remain in the flesh is more necessary for your benefit. Only conduct yourselves in a way worthy of the gospel of Christ. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Open our hearts, oh, Oh, Lord, to listen. 
listen to the words of your son. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Give the glory and the honor. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus told his disciples this parable. The kingdom of heaven was like a landowner who went out at dawn to hire laborers for his vineyard. After agreeing with them to the usual daily wage, he sent them into his vineyard. Going on about nine o'clock, the landowner saw others standing idle in the marketplace, and he said to them, you too go into my vineyard and I will give you what is just. So they went off. And he went out again around noon and around three o'clock and did likewise. Going out at about five o'clock, the landowner found others standing around. He said to them, why do you stand here idle all day? They answered, because no one has hired us. He said to them, you too go into my vineyard. When it was evening, the owner of the vineyard said to his foreman, summon the laborers and give them their pay, beginning with the last and ending with the first. When those who had started about five o'clock came, each received the usual daily wage. So when the first came, they thought that they would receive more, but each of them also received the daily wage, the usual daily wage. So when the first came, they thought that they would receive more, and after receiving it, they grumbled against the landowner, saying, these last ones worked only one hour, and you've made them equal to us. We bore the day's burden and the heat. He said to one of them in reply, my friend, I'm not cheating you. Did you not agree with me for the usual daily wage? Take what is yours and go. What if I wish to give this last one the same as you? Or am I not free to do as I wish with my own money? Are you envious because I am generous? Thus the last will be first and the first will be last. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Uh, I grew up in a union family. My father was a member of two workers' unions, the Railroad Carmen's Worker Union and the International Association of Firefighters in the city of Buffalo. When I was a kid, unions were very, very important, and it was always kind of communicated to us that if you bought a pamphlet or a book or something, it always should have the union bug, they called it, the little, little tiny little thing there that tells you who the printer is and that he is a union printer. And when we see the story in the gospel today, this parable, I think there's uh, good grounds there for some kind of a union uh, protest to file a complaint because this isn't fair, is it? It's not fair in our minds or in our way of thinking, but as we're told, you know, our ways are not God's ways. God's ways are not our ways. And so God, who is represented by the vineyard owner, is someone who is generous to a fault. And he's generous with people whether they come early or late to him. And there's been great examples of both cases. Remember the story of the Ethiopian eunuch in the Acts of the Apostles. And he started reading scriptures, and he was all of a sudden, uh, he, he ran into Saint uh, Philip, to Philip the Apostle, and, and Philip taught him about Christ, and he accepted Christ, and he asked to be baptized. And, and Philip said to him, well, you know, uh, you want to be baptized? Right? I, 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 you know, yeah. Now, today, we would probably say, well, wait, you've got to go through our CIA, you know? You do something. We can't just baptize you. But the apostle did and took him down the eunuch and said, there's a pool of water there. Let's go be, let me be baptized and learn more. 
And so he came later in his life, as well as a great saint, St. Augustine. Uh, you know, he is known for many of his writings, which exist to this very day, you know, and uh, the confessions of St. Augustine. But he was a ne'er-do-well as a youth. He was not a very moral person by what we would consider our standards. We know his mother prayed for his conversion almost her whole lifetime, you know. And he became a saint, and he became a saint through the process of conversion, conversion, changing our life, changing what we are and how we think, changing the essence of what we believe by coming to Jesus, by coming to that moment. In the first reading today, we, we see from the prophet Isaiah, let the scoundrel forsake his way, let the wicked forsake their wicked thoughts, let them turn to the Lord for mercy. And that's such a beautiful imagery in an age and society and culture in which we don't seem to be very forgiving. You know, we see this all the time in different news accounts of people who are accused of many different things. And right away, if it's severe enough, we see people calling for the death penalty, very severe punishment. And that's not to say that that is not a deserved punishment in our minds for some criminals. But it eliminates the possibility of further conversion to God. It eliminates the earthly possibility of remorse and repentance. I mentioned St. Augustine, and in his confessions, you can still pick up a copy pretty much anywhere today, he uses these words, late have I loved thee, and he's, that's his prayer to God because he knew he was kind of messed up in his youth and through many years. But he prays, late have I loved thee, O Lord. And, and while this isn't fair in, in labor law or practice or even in the, in the law of the church with regard to human labor, but in this parable, this story, Jesus is really telling us it doesn't matter when you come, it's that you come to Jesus deathbed conversions, you know. I had a, a, a distant cousin. Her husband was uh, um, anti-Catholic, actually. And uh, on his deathbed, he became a Catholic, and they had a Catholic mass. And some of the relatives were like, why does he get a mass? He was, you know, a crab all of his life, or whatever he was. But no matter when, that's not fair. Because, see, we say that. We say, that's not fair. I was, I was a Catholic longer than him. I should, I, you know, why am I not getting some glory and praise, you know? But the reality is that it doesn't make a difference when you come to Jesus Christ. It's that you come. And so the first will be last. Well, who are the first represented by? The, the, the temple elders, the uh, priests of the temple, the, the higher ups in the faith who thought they had all of the answers, all of the secrets, all of the themes that they, you know, that's who they, who they represent, the first workers, because they, they've been there the longest. But again, late have I loved thee, even when I come to you, O Lord, later in life, in the sincerity of my heart. We pray in Eucharistic prayer number four for all who seek God with a sincere heart. And so it is. Uh, our friend St. Augustine, late have I loved thee, beauty so ancient and so new. Late have I loved you. I was outside seeking there for you, and upon the shapely things you've made, I rushed headlong, I, misshapen. You were with me, but I was not with you. They held me back from far from you. Those things which would have no being were it not for you. Late have I loved you. So we pray that wherever we are on our spiritual journey, we may be those people who walk with the Lord and thereby also walk with one another brothers and sisters to us, brothers and sisters to the Lord Jesus Christ. May his name be praised and blessed forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Together now, we profess our faith using the Apostles' Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. 
he descended into hell. On the third day he rose again from the dead, and he ascended into heaven, and is seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From there he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. Let's turn to the God of all goodness and love as we offer our prayers for ourselves and all of those in need today. For the church, that we speak out for the poor of the land and call to account those who exploit them for financial gain. For this we pray, Lord, Lord, hear hear our our prayer. For the leaders of governments, that they reflect the Lord's greatness in their work for victims of injustice. For this we pray, Lord, Lord, hear hear our prayer. For us who worship here, that we imitate the Lord's greatness in our love for others. For this we pray, Lord, Lord, hear hear our prayer. For the season of creation, that a great passion will arise among people to protect and care for our common home, to be more aware of an integral ecology and appreciation, the interconnectedness of all things. For this we pray, Lord, hear our prayer. For those suffering in body, mind, or spirit, and for the continued healing for all those who have received prayer shawls from our parish. For them we pray, Lord, Lord, hear our prayer. For all those who have passed into new life this week, especially Betty Jakubowicz, and for all those dearly departed who dwell in the peace of the eternal Lord, for them we pray, Lord, hear our prayer. For all our personal needs and the intentions written in the parish book of prayers, which we now offer in the silence of our heart. For this we pray, Lord, hear hear our our prayer. prayer. Lord God, you give us peace. You give us mercy. You call us to new and better ways of living. Hear the prayers that we offer and give us answers that we may understand answers according to your will. Through Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Amen. There's a love that is greater than my own. There's a spirit that brings me back to life There's a seed that's been planted in my soul That can only grow in the light of Christ There's a mercy that's wider than my own There's a hope every sinner can be saved There's a power that rolls away the stone That can only be found in the light of Christ High above our way is the mind of God Love much greater than my own Into your hands I commend my life Burning air. 
spirit that brings me back to life There's a seed that's been planted in my soul That can only grow in the light of Christ High above our way is the mind of God Love much greater than my own Into your hands I commend my life True love is found in Christ alone True love is found in Christ alone Let us pray, my brothers and sisters, that this sacrifice, your gifts and mine, may be acceptable to God, the Father Almighty. May the, the Lord, Lord accept the sacrifice in our hands for the praise and glory of God's name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. Reserve with, uh, receive with favor, Lord, these prayers we offer in the offerings of your people, that what they profess with devotion and faith may be theirs through these heavenly mysteries. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It's truly right and just. Our duty and salvation to thank you, Lord, to praise you, and to raise a hymn of glory, Father of infinite goodness. For by the word of your Son's gospel, you brought together one church from every people tongue, and nation. And having filled us with life by the power of your Holy Spirit, you never cease through the church to gather the whole human family into one. You show the covenant of your love by the church's dispensing without ceasing the blessed hope of the kingdom and shines bright as a sign of your faithfulness, which in Christ Jesus our Lord you promised would last for eternity. And so with all the powers of heaven, we worship you on earth, while with all the church, with one voice, we acclaim. indeed holy and glorified, O God, who loves the human family and always walks with us on our journey of life. Blessed too is your Son, Jesus Christ, present in our midst, when as once he did for his disciples, so now he gathers us by his love, he opens the scriptures, and he breaks the bread. And so, Father, most merciful, we ask that you send forth your Holy Spirit to sanctify these gifts of bread and wine, that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. On the day before he was to suffer, the night of the Last Supper, he took bread and said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when the supper was ended, he took the chalice. Once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for the many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When 
we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. So, Father most holy, as we celebrate the memorial of Christ, your Son, our Savior, whom you led through his passion and death on the cross to the glory of the resurrection, and whom you have seated at your right hand. We proclaim the work of your love until he comes again, and we offer you the bread of life and the chalice of blessing. Look with favor on the oblation of your church in which we show forth the paschal sacrifice of Christ that has been entrusted and handed on to us. Grant by the power of the spirit of your love, the Holy Spirit, we may be counted now and until the day of eternity among the members of your Son in whose body and blood we have communion. Lord, renew your church in Buffalo and Western New York by the light of the gospel. Strengthen the bond of unity between the faithful and the pastors of your people together with our Holy Father, Pope Francis, Bishop Fisher, the clergy, that in a world torn by strife, your people may shine forth as a prophetic sign of unity and peace. Remember our brothers and sisters fallen asleep in the peace of your Christ and all, who's, all the dead whose faith you alone have known. Welcome them to rejoice in the light of your presence that they may see you face to face and in the resurrection give them the fullness of life. Grant also to us when this earthly pilgrimage is done that we may enter into that eternal dwelling place and live with you forever in communion with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Saint Joseph, the apostles, the martyrs, and with all the saints, we will praise you and exalt you through Jesus Christ, your Son. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Jesus taught us to call God our Father, and so we have the courage now to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, O Lord, from every evil and grant us peace in our day. In your mercy, keep us free from sin. Protect us from distress and anxiety as we await the blessed hope and the joyful coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, I leave you peace. My peace is my gift to you. Look not on our sins, but the faith of this family, your church, Grant us the peace and unity of your kingdom, where you live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. We offer each other a sign of Christ's peace. Peace be with you. Thanks. And to those especially who may be alone today, a special gift of peace we pray for you as you pray for us as well at this Eucharistic table.
Behold the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. How blessed, how joyful are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, my soul shall be shown. Though not physically present at this Mass, as the baptized, we are intimately united as the body of Christ as we participate in this spiritual Holy Communion. Let us pray. Graciously raise up, O Lord, those you renew in this sacrament, that we may come to possess your redemption in mystery and in the manner of our lives. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Thank you for being with us today as we join in prayer at this Mass. If you're able to join us in person, you're more than welcome, of course, at St. Joe's University Church on Main Street in Buffalo, or at the Newman Center, UB Campus, North Campus, off of Skinnersville Road, or on Skinnersville Road in Amherst, right off of Sweet Home. Uh, please feel free to join us by our social media and websites for masses and other things going on. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May the Lord bless and keep you and let his face shine on you. May he look on you with kindness and give you peace. The Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. Go in peace. Thanks be to God. We till the earth. Where none is found In selfless love God's life abounds We till the earth We tell the ground As God provides our every need With grateful hearts Let us receive 
Well, I look a little different. I'm wearing my St. Joseph University Parish Team shirt today. Huh? Uh, we want to thank Father Paul Seil, who was the presider for the Mass this, today, because he's joined our campus ministry team. He works primarily at the north campus of the university, at the Newman Center, but he'll be joining us in the future for some of these online Masses and for other things here at St. Joseph's. Some sad news this past week, Father Greg, Greg Jakubowicz, who you know from celebrating these masses here, the Franciscan who's on our team, his mother passed away, and we had her funeral this week. So please keep him, his family, in, in your prayers as they go through this time of grief. Some good news, Monsignor Caligiri, who's one of our weekend assistants, is celebrating his 90th birthday on Tuesday, the 26th of September. So after all the masses this weekend, we're gonna have a little refreshments and a chance, he'll be at all the, all the masses in the community room, a chance for you to stop in and say hello and wish him well as he celebrates 90 years. So in the meantime, stay well, stay safe, and God bless you. May go up the mountain of the Lord stand in his holy place the clean of hand and pure of heart who devoted their lives to him they may go Thank you.